both as children and adults, we must make the lifestyle choice to incorporate physical activity into our daily routine. For children, it's recommended 60 minutes per day of moderate intensity activity. For adults, it's 30 minutes a day, but five days a week. Now, there are positives and negatives of whether or not you include physical activity or you choose not to. The benefits of including it are threefold. The first one is muscular hypertrophy. Because we're putting stress on the muscles, we're causing it to, we're causing it to contract, we're causing it to work against resistance. It's actually going to, our body's actually going to adapt and become far better and far more efficient to actually cope with the stresses that we're putting it under. And that's muscular hypertrophy. Second, we have an heightened or an increased metabolism. Because we have systems in place, enzymes and parts of our body, which are their sole responsibility is to actually extract chemical energy from the food that we eat and convert it into kinetic, aka movement. If we move for 30 minutes a day, five days a week, it's not like a switch. Our metabolism doesn't just go up and then down. It goes up gradually as we exercise and then it gradually drops off throughout the day. So if we just exercise 30 minutes a day, we're actually going to be burning excess energy or more than we would if we were inactive throughout the whole day. So that's a heightened metabolism. Third is an increase in cardiovascular capabilities. By cardiovascular, we mean the cardiac muscle, so the heart. We have the lungs and the blood vessels that supply or link, all, or link the whole system together. So the blood, the vessels, the heart, and the lungs. The more stress that we actually put our body through, like our muscles, they are going to respond to that. For example, a heart, the actual chamber volumes can increase, such as stroke volume. We can have an increase in lung capacity through increased numbers of alveoli, so the surface area or the volume or the quantity of oxygen or air that we can actually take in increases. We can have or lead to things that's got known as capillarization or vascularization. This is where our body actually grows new capillaries or new vessels such as artery, veins, venules, arterials in order to transport more blood because we're putting it under more demands. So that's our lungs, our hearts, our lungs and our blood, which can actually increase in volume. We can actually grow or produce or stimulate the production of more haemoglobin or more red blood cells in order to attach to the oxygen, transfer it to the muscle, and then attach or dissolve CO2 and get that back up to the lungs for exhalation. So the positive muscular hypertrophy, high to metabolism, and we have improved capabilities of the cardiovascular system. If we choose to not be physically active, however, or we promote inactivity in our daily lives, there are negatives and downsides to that. The first one being the impact on our heart and our brain. It can actually lead to coronary heart disease or strokes because the vessels around these crucial parts of our bodies are negatively affected. If they're unable to actually transport oxygen through the blood because they're constricted or we're having fatty deposits actually begin to build up on the inside of these vessels because we're not exercising and we're not burning off the fats, we're not burning off the, the excess calories that we're ingesting. Because we're not doing that, we can't actually transport blood and the oxygen required by our brain, by our heart, when it's needed. So it could be something as simple as walking up the stairs that could cause our, our heart rate and our blood pressure to go so high because there's so little space to be forcing that blood through, which can then lead our heart to actually just giving up altogether. It's not being supplied the oxygen as it is a muscle, it, it's a muscle itself. So if we can't even supply the muscle that pumps blood with enough oxygen to pump, we're in all sorts of trouble. And that's where things like heart attacks and cardiac arrest can start to come in. Uh, second negative of, of, of no physical activity or, or a negative of inactivity is obesity. So an increase in obesity levels or an increase in diabetes. If we are putting too much into our body and we're not expelling enough, we're going to have a buildup of or bad nutrients. They're going to be too much in the wrong places at the wrong, at the wrong time. And that can lead to things like diabetes and obesity. These two combined that are actually costing the NHS, and this is, this is point number three, they're actually costing the NHS in excess of one billion pounds to counteract or to support, to provide medication, to provide physiotherapy for any chronic diseases such as osteoporosis. It's costing north of one billion pounds to the NHS to actually cope with physical inactivity in adult and child lives. So to recap, an adult should be doing 30 minutes a day, five days a week. A child, 60 minutes a day, or 60 minutes a day, uh, every single day. Um, the benefits, muscular hypertrophy, we have an improved cardiovascular capability, and we have heightened metabolism. The negatives, if we choose to be inactive, we have 
obesity and diabetes numbers are actually going up. We have an increased cost to the NHS. At the moment, it stands at north of 1 billion. And we also have this increased risk of CHDs or coronary heart diseases and strokes.